Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Blue Fire. Uh, this is a 3D platformer meets Zelda meets Hollow Knight sort of game. It, it released yesterday, uh, it's an indie thing, um, it looks really really fun. Um, it was recommended on the Bug Fables uh, community so I figured I'd take a look. It's not the same kind of game, it's more like Hollow Knight and those other things I mentioned, but uh, I watched the trailer, it looks super fun. I dropped into the developers community to make sure they're cool and they were talking about how great Celeste is and how cool it is that Madeline is trans, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, let's dive in. Um, I'm hoping I really enjoy this. Uh, it sounds pretty exciting. Uh, I think I have the sound hooked up properly. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, cool. Uh... So yeah, this released yesterday, um, or probably today, I don't know, it released on the 4th, but I'm in Australia, so it's the 5th here right now. Um, time zones. <laughs> uh, well, we get a bit of a loading thing. Hopefully this is like a first time sort of thing. After this it might be quicker. We'll see though. It made us be like this every time. If so, that's a bit annoying, because it is taking a while. Roby Studios. Are the developers? Graffiti Games, the publisher. This game saves automatically. Please don't turn off your system until the save will disappear. Blue Fire. Uh, let me see. Settings, uh, game, English. This has a bunch of languages, I believe. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I probably want the camera settings default, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, you can turn off the motion blur and stuff like that if you want to get a better look at the screen, I guess. Camera shakes off. So, I don't know how accessible this is if you have a photo sensitivity, but presumably they've got some tricks for that. Uh, you can't frame up the controls on the Switch version. That was something I saw mentioned in their, in their Discord server. Uh, it might be something they're going to add, though. So, we'll see. Um, this is also available on Steam. On the Steam version, I'm pretty sure you can remap the controls. Uh, let me see, we get 12 save slots. That's probably plenty. File name, uh... File? Sure. I don't know the characters' names again, like with Bug Fables. Like, I'm going in not knowing what, I need, what the game's about, so I don't know what to name my file. Uh... I guess we'll go recommended? I mean, I've never, I've never played the game before, but... I'm, so I am a newcomer, but I, I guess I want to see what it's actually intended to be like. Check your quest tab to see your current objectives and side quests. Mm. Okay, we've got a floating tower thingy. Oh! Oh! We've got an exploding tower thingy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Are we, are we loading? There's nothing on screen. Ooh. It's got sort of a cell shaded look to it, kind of like Wind Waker, which is pretty cool. Um, looks quite nice. I imagine it would look nicer on the Steam version, because again, the Switch has somewhat limited hardware, but eh, I'm liking it. Hello, friend. Is that my player character? Or is that someone else? Okay, I think it's my player character. Uh, let me see. I can move the camera with the R stick. Uh, push right to look right, push left to look left, look up, look down. Yeah, that feels right to me. Cool. Um, everyone has a different definition of what reversing the axes on the camera is, so I just have to check whether uh, the unreversed thing is what I actually want or not. Assume pressing Y will break me out of here. It did! Um... Okay, they forgot to tell me how to jump. I'm guessing it's B? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of an oversight. Uh, you walk around quite quickly, and yeah, you look a lot like, uh, it's a lot like Wind Waker Link. Look at that outfit. 
Something glowing over here. Inspect. Move camera with the right stick. Yeah, I already figured that out. You got little health thingies at the side, like a Zelda? It looks a lot like a Zelda game, yeah. Is that money in here? I don't know if that's money. I've got 14 of them, whenever they are. Oh, so I can inspect. Dangerous. Do not touch. Uh, oh, it's like the, the that stuff, right? That dark looking stuff? I think that probably hurts me if I touch it. There's stuff like that in various Zelda titles. So I'm just going to take a few hints from that. <laughs> uh, can I look over here? Icaros Notes. Test subject 512. Subject appears to be moving for a while but was quickly corrupted. The following pages are worn out. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do I want to go this way or the other way? Uh, I think I can go a little bit this way, so let's have a look. A pile of corpses. Oh no. Uh, are, those, are those people like me? Are they the failed experiments? Oh no. Well, I'm getting a lot of these little orb thingies, so hopefully they're good to collect. It might be like money, like Geo style, like in Hollow Knight. Uh, I'm not really sure what it, what it does though. It, it may be like in a Hollow Knight, like you die, you have to go back and get your Geo. That would be a bit annoying though. Inspect. Jump. B. Press to jump, hold to jump higher. Okay, yeah, if you just tap it, you do a little tiny jump. If you hold it down, you do a nice big jump. Okay, we've got a uh, ZL targeting. It feels very uh, every Zelda game, <laughs> every 3D Zelda game anyway. Alchemist Tower, the door is blocked. I'm guessing I can't break through this. Hmm. I believe I'll be getting new abilities. Uh, you know, like a Zelda game. <laughs> Food storage, the door is blocked. Restore health, press up. Oh, I see. I have two uh, Healy blobs or whatever. Okay, we got uh, a very Wind Waker-esque locked door there. Unlock. Use key. Key you can have used once. I don't have a key. Hmm. Seems like we need to, like, conserve our keys a bit more than in a traditional Zelda, where there's typically just, like, the right number of keys for every door. Weapon room. The door is blocked. This one's not locked, so we can have a look through here. Uh, hello. Traveller of the land. When facing evil, do not underestimate the power of emoting. Would you like to learn a new move for 200 ore? Okay, so the money's called ore. And I don't have 200 of it, but I would like to learn it. So, uh, let's break some stuff and see if we can find some more money. I guess that stuff is fire resistance? Hmm. Inspect. Emote. Uh, left, right to open menu, left to quick emote. Okay, I know the little waving emote already. I assume this is a major part of the game, because it looks like there's a pretty elaborate menu for it. And like, if it doesn't have an effect on the enemies, why, why bother with all that, you know? Oh, that's outside. Uh, I want to check the other rooms first. <laughs> I like your movement speed, it's nice and quick. I mentioned that already, but it, it's nice that you don't slog too much. You've got a good a good clip. Attack, press Y. Got over 200 ore now. Dash, Zeta, press hold to dash longer. Ooh, okay. So, uh, this is very similar to a move you have in Hollow Knight. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a lot of comparisons in this video, I think. <laughs> Trash storage, the door is blocked. Uh, you can dash on the ground or in midair by the looks of things, which is nice. Uh, take that, skulls. Oh, enemy. Uh, I got some shiny things. <laughs> I'm not super sure what I just collected, but I guess that's good. Kitchen. The door is blocked. 
Yeah, it looks like this slime stuff has been messing the place up. That's also a door to the kitchen. It makes sense. The kitchen usually needs two doors in a big place like this. Oh, accidentally touched the goop, and yeah, it did, it did a quarter heart of damage in a very Zelda sort of way. <laughs> oh gosh, I am having a lot of fun just drawing all the comparisons. <laughs> uh, what have we here? Interior garden, the door is blocked. Uh, that one is blocked by more than normal, so I can't actually even inspect it. Huh? What's this? I can walk a little bit into this wall. That's a bit weird. I don't know if that's intentional. Oh, more bad guy. Okay, if you, if you lock onto the bad guy, you can um, save their health and stuff. Interesting. Uh, I am taking a bit of damage. I don't know how much healing you get from a heal, so I don't know if I want to use it just yet. What's this thing? Required Vessel of Souls. Okay, I don't know what that is, but uh, I assume I'll find one soon. Oh. Oh gosh. Getting some platforming down here. So, yeah, this game has a much heavier focus on platforming than the Zelda traditionally does. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. This looks like a boss room. Lock. L. R click the R stick. Is that click the R stick? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's really good. Um. One of my housemates was really annoyed that uh, you used, like, you tilted the right stick to change targets in some game. I think it was Immort Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh, you just turn the stick, which means you can't control the camera while you're locked on. In this game, you can control the camera while you're locked on. If you actually want to change targets, you have to click. I don't think destroying these does anything. And you can tap ZL again to actually unselect. Cute. Uh, I believe your character is deliberately very cute. What with all the emotes and things. Oh, a chest. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, it fully heals you. Uh, I wasn't sure how much health healing you got from that. That answers that. And if you tap B while you are locked on like this, you do like a little backflip dodgy thing, which is pretty cool. It, it's very Zelda. <laughs> okay, so we get this extra chest. What's in here? Shield, a piece of magical armor reflected by, crafted by the fire guards, protects from damage and reflects darkness. Shield, hold A. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's like a- oh, there is like a bar at the top there that uh, drained out when I used it. Does it refill by itself or I need to grab something? Hmm. Old key, can be used to open a locked door. Neat. Um. I wonder how I replenish my shield now that I've used it all up. There's like a magic meter underneath your health bar, just just like in a Zelda, um, and it's empty. So do I need to like fight more enemies to get like magic pots or whatever? Hmm. I'm gonna try how to get more of it. Uh, you do have a ledge grab from the start of the game. I've used it a couple of times at this point. Seems pretty uh, intuitive. Oh no. Okay, uh, you lose a whole heart if you fall down. Uh, typically a Zelda would do just one, like, uh, dot of damage, like a quarter heart or whatever. So that's a little harsh. Um... Is this door already here? I don't remember. Uh, I can't really go this way, so I don't suppose it matters.
Uh, there was a locked door here, which I can now unlock because I have a key. Uh, more enemies. Uh, I don't know what's in that door. It says dot dot dot. Bathroom, the door is blocked. Something. Chief bathrooms. Okay. Oh, is this like a stealth sort of thing? Can I sneak up on them? I think it might be. Interesting. Ow. I don't really have any good stealth abilities yet. Uh, it looks like I replenished some shield, but I'm not sure how I did that. <laughs> oh, it's just when you hit an enemy. Okay. So it's like, um, it's like Cat Quest. Cool, I can, I can work with that. I know how to play Cat Quest. Oh, there's something over here. Saving? Oh, it's a moon rock. Oh, uh, hello. Hmm. Von Fireguard. Hmm. Warrior of light and shadow. For a very long time, hmm. I've been waiting for you. Hmm. My name is Von. Yeah, I know, the game told me. <laughs> I am the last of the fire guards. Oh no. Hmm. The only survivor of the Firekeep raid. For centuries, I've carried out what seemed hmm. to be a senseless task. I have protected this abandoned keep in the name of the guards. I have protected a hopeless faith. But now, you're here. You're here. Penumbra awaits your blade, warrior. Time is slipping through our hands as we speak. Is that Penumbra? That glowing stone behind you, or is Penumbra the bad guy that I need to defeat? That is a void entrance. Throughout your journey, you will come upon many more void entrances. These gates are links to a forgotten yes. realm. No, no as the void. That's a typo. Should say known as the void. I guess this game just came out, so there might be a few mistakes here and there. It is where our ancestors trained. You must seek as many void entrances as you can. Through them, embrace the void and seek our ancestors' power. Only through this you'll be able to prove your worth and claim the secret power of the guards. Mm. Warrior of light and shadow, when the time comes, we shall meet again. Mm. Uh, okay. I accidentally cleared the screen by walking too fast, but it said main quest into the void, I think? Journal. Enter the void. Vaughn has presented himself and told you about the void. You must activate the void entrance and finish the challenge inside. Complete all voids found in Penumbra. Okay, so Penumbra is like the world? I guess? Grace of Lula. Difficulty 1. I think these are basically like shrines in Breath of the Wild. That's the impression I'm getting. Um, but now we're heading into one, so I guess we'll see if I'm correct. Okay, we've got little, uh, glowies. Little glowies. <laughs> there? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, so it's a bit of a platforming challenge. More like Breath of the Wild is more of a physics puzzle thing. This is kind of closer to the um like time rifts in a hat in time. Or the secret boxes in Mario Sunshine. Either of those are pretty good comparisons. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm scared to fall. Oh, thank goodness for the ledge grab. Oh gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> this game has very good control, by the way. Uh, I'm just scared because I'm uh, a scared person. <laughs> uh, is there stuff up there? Doesn't look like it. I can just keep going. I'm just playing it safe. Uh, I'm not sure what happens if you if you actually run out of health because it hasn't happened yet. I'm guessing I want to get all 30 of these though. I 
Okay, I got them all. Does that do something? Or do I need to do that to go to the end? Claim. Alright, I claimed something. Oh! Oh, it gave me a heart container! Oh, awesome. I love to get a heart container. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like a shrine, but more generous. Enter the void completed. And that door on the left opened as well. Can I go back in? I can. Eh, I don't need to, so I won't, but it's nice to have that option, I suppose. So what's through here? Oops. Oh. I misjudged that real bad. <laughs> uh. Ah. So yeah, I accidentally um, sorted myself off the edge there. As you can see, you can recover when you mess up like that using the dash, which is nice. It feels very Odyssey. Um, although I am still not very good at this game, unlike Odyssey, which I am pretty good at. <laughs> Probably want to be a little more reserved when you're hitting these things. Just whack them once instead of, like, mashing the button a whole lot. For fear of, uh, dying, basically. I don't know how to get more healing. Um, I used up one of my heal juices that I started with, and I haven't gotten an extra one yet, so... I haven't really figured out the combat yet. It looks like they give you a bit of a signal when they're about to attack, so you have a chance to dodge, but I'm not quite sure of the timing. I'm guessing these red things are like experience. I don't know if they count if they're counting towards my money total or not. But they've only come from enemies, I think. Fire Essence. Oh, Fire Essence is healing. Oh, okay. If I use one now, yeah, I heal up. So a fi they're called Fire Essences and you just find them lying around. Okay, that makes sense. Hence the little fire in the corner with one next to it. This is a really pretty game. Like, I'm in, you know, drab sort of grey castle areas at the moment. There's still a lot of colour going on, which is nice. There's a switch there we can open the door with. Cool stuff. Very, very video gamey. Uh oh. Oh no! I didn't realise it was on a timer. I don't think it's gonna be quick enough. Yeah, I had a feeling I wouldn't make it. Ah! That's a little bit rude. I was mid-jump and it took my momentum because the cutscene interrupted me. Hmm. <laughs> if the timer were displayed on screen, that would be less annoying. Um, or if it, you know, just didn't interrupt me with the cutscene. But the way it worked, just then, not a huge fan. Um, okay, so what we actually need to do, we hit the switch like this. The door opens, then instead of falling all the way to the bottom, uh, we want to jump onto these crates and go from here. Because then we have to go much less far. Like so. Okay, we've got another fire essence. So the game isn't too, like, stingy with them. I think I saw one earlier that I couldn't grab because, like, my maximum is currently two. West Guard Tower. The door is blocked. Ooh, there's like a plate here. Like a, a little panel of, 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 of power. I don't know what it does. Perhaps nothing yet, but maybe something later? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, I'm still taking a lot of damage every time I get into combat. <laughs> I've got to work on that. <laughs> uh, is that the way I came from? Is that the way I came from? They look kind of similar. Uh, I think I came from that direction. Okay, uh, there's a door over there, but I don't think I can reach it. It looks too far to dash. I still haven't figured out the combat, like, at all. I'll work on it. Can't carry more fire essence. Yeah, I found another fire essence here. I'm gonna use one. So that's the blue collectible? Okay, got it. What's in this chest? Emerald ore, a highly valuable and rare precious emerald. I think these things are just like you sell them for money. Like vendor trash, basically. Um, not so sure, though. I may be wrong. East Guard Tower. Right, oh right, I was at the West Guard Tower before. Okay, that makes sense. Ow! I accidentally touched the, the pain juice. There's a lot of pain juice everywhere. <laughs> Little shadow friend hurting juice. This looks like an interesting location. Fire Shrine Statue. Rest. Greetings, Traveler. Awaken Fire Shrine Statue. Pay 250 or Sure. Game saved. Okay, so I have full health now. Uh, and... Do the enemies respawn? Is it like a bonfire in Dark Souls? I think it's like a checkpoint, basically. I don't think it respawned the enemies, because there were some back there and I can't see them now. Yeah, I didn't take any damage once. Good for me. So I wonder what those little red things are. I don't think they add to my ore number. Maybe there's like an enemy kills experience that I'm filling up. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to use my shield to block, but it's not actually activating when I expect it to. Okay, I think I did it one once that time. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. What's this thing? Little binoculars? Oh, okay. I can just get, sort of get a view of elsewhere? I, I'm not sure where I'm looking at with those binoculars. <laughs> uh, oh, and this door is locked, so I'm going to need to get somewhere else in order to open it. Let's get back to the statue, because I just took a lot of damage fighting those few enemies, because I'm not very good at this game yet. Um, just have a quick rest. Oh, there's actually options. Hang on, I can save. I assume that heals me, it does. I can also go spirits. Okay, I don't have any spirits yet. I think these are kind of like um, charms in Hollow Knight. You, like, activate, like, you have a couple of slots and you can pick certain bonuses. Shadow Fragments for mana. Oh, those things are Shadow Fragments. Okay, so killing the, killing the enemies gets you Shadow Fragments. I assume that increases the length of my... my, my bar? Yeah, it's, I think it's a little bit longer. Cool. Alright, uh, thank you, statue. I'm guessing it costs like 20 now instead of 10. Yes. Uh, which means I can't do it again because it'll cost at least 30, possibly 40 for the next next blessing. Yeah, so these bars are a little bit longer than my health now. 30, yeah. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I'm learning things. <laughs> I'm not sure why I think this game is colourful, like, it doesn't objectively have that many colours going on. 
I think it's just just the presentation is very like vibrant in terms of the few colors it is using. That makes sense. Okay, uh, I only took, got, took one hit that time, so I'm getting better. Directed dash. Lock, release movement input, dash. Huh. So you can, like, dash toward a barrel or something directly? Can I look under barrels? Yeah, I can. This wasn't close enough. Hello. Traveler of the land. When facing evil, power of emoting. Learn a move for 200 ore? Sure. Celebration? Let's try it immediately. Uh... Oh, adorable. <laughs> I don't think this game has like a co-op mode or anything, so I'm not quite sure what the emotes are for, besides being adorable, but that's probably enough. Door is blocked. Uh, oh, another void. I definitely want to go there. Let me just grab these first. Enter void. Presumably another quick platforming challenge. Yeah, it looks like a pretty similar sort of deal. Umbert's secret. Oh, that's scary. Crumbling platforms! Oh no! Oh my gosh. Wait, I took, did I just take two hearts of damage from that, or was that just one? I think it was just one, but I'm not sure. Okay, there we go, that's better. Oh my goodness, moving platforms. Here we go. <sighs> well, I want to get all of these, so I guess I'll just hang around on the end here and let it rotate. <laughs> Atmosphere is quite foreboding in these areas. Very, I mean, atmospheric as a word to describe an atmosphere is pretty silly, but that's kind of what it is. <laughs> uh, can I go? Can I dash that far? I guess I'm gonna have to because I can't see anywhere else I can go. Yep, I can dash that far. I haven't quite got a good sense of my character's capabilities yet. I'm a little scared to just try things because I don't know what will happen if I mess up. Uh... Uh-oh. Oh god, fall damage. Oh no, there's fall damage. <laughs> I wonder if I could interrupt with a dash in order to not take the fall damage. Hmm. I'm a little reluctant to try to experiment with that right now, but I'm gonna keep it in mind. Okay, let's try this again. Oh god. Oh my god. I'm just not sure how much time I have to cross the crumbly platforms. So timing the next bit is real scary. Because uh, you have to, you know, leave the crumbly platforms with the right time. Um... Okay. I'll get a better idea of, the, of how the platforming physics work exactly in this game as I play, but... 
just having a little trouble at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh my goodness. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. Okay. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. Alright. I think I'm getting a, a hand on the platforming, it's just, it's just a little super scary because I don't know what happens when you die in this game yet. My guess is you respawn at the last fire shrine you saved at, but I'm not sure. Like it saved me when I entered this, this um, void as well, so it might just be you reset the beginning of the void or something. Okay, claimed whatever it is you claim. I now have six little hearts. And here we are, back in the overworld. Uh, can I cross all the way over there? It looks too far. Yeah, I probably can't cross over there from here. I do want to uh, go back and have another have a look at the this thing over here uh, that was telling me about like oh 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 I see. Director dash, you lock on, and then you dash up there. I can't otherwise jump that high, so yeah, you have to use the dash. Okay, and that's gonna open that door for me. Oh, okay. Oh, it only half opens the door. Is there a timer, or is it... I'm not hearing a timer, so it's probably just I've got to go do the other one as well. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the statue and see if that... Uh, heals my uh, juice as well, because I'm out of juice. I've forgotten what those things are called, fire essences. Uh, it does, okay, cool. I, I sort of got the impression it would, but I wasn't sure. I still don't know what happens when you die, but you just respawn at the last save, or if it's like a Hollow Knight type of thing, where you are punished. Okay, that time I took no damage, so I think I'm getting a bit better at this. Come back to the lob. <laughs> Does this have the same advice? Yeah, directed dash. Hold down the dash button, once you drop it the air, and you can whack it while you're up there. And the door should now actually be open. Uh, I'm not hearing a timer. Wasn't really expecting to hear one, so that's good. Is there anything over there? Any oh, there's a chest. I would like a chest. Hello, chest. I'm checking these in case they have ore in them, but they just seem to have more fire essence, and I'm already full on that, so it doesn't really help too much. What have we here? Diamond wings. Powerful blades made from diamond can tear with ease through darkness. 
Ooh, that sounds really useful. Uh, do I have to do something to equip them, or...? Key items, a basic pouch, fire essence carrier, shield, void soul. Select. Okay, so I can switch weapons like this. Cut with these through darkness. It does more damage. Will it actually cut through, like, the the darkness? Like this, this uh, colourful stuff that's hanging out? Doesn't look like it. I assume it does more damage to enemies, though, which is still good. <laughs> Okay, um, we can continue now. Let's dash our way over here. I'm gonna chuck down another save, just in case. He's gonna be a very cautious player. Do a little dance. <laughs> so I should be able to open this. I can. Oh gosh, what's that? Some sort of collectible, I assume. No, that thing just activated. Nuos, fierce warrior in the shadows. Listen carefully to this message. Upon the dawn of shadows have my brothers fallen. Vigorously have I too fought the shadows, but that same destruction now threatens my deathbed. Through the tunnels in the heart of the city, there you shall find my resting ground, the forest shrine. Warrior who vanquishes shadows with his blade, please come to my aid. I will be waiting for you. Okay. I can do that. So it's not a collectible, it's it's a quest quest marker. <laughs> uh what's in there? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh I think it is actually. See that way it's blocked off? So I can go over this way and do a little jump. Hold the jump button to gain more height. Open your shield right before an attack to perform a parry. Side quests reward you with special items. Damage dealt after a parry is stronger. I need to practice parrying, obviously. It looks like it's a big part of the game. Just keep an eye on your health. Remember to heal. Okay. Arcane tunnels. It's a sewer level. Everyone loves sewer levels. I'm being a little sarcastic, but honestly, sewer levels are often pretty fun. Oh god. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> I don't like this. Oh god, it explodes with damage? Oh my god. sets of keys. They seem useless. If you say so. Okay, I want whatever's over there if I can get to it, but it looks like I need to get rid of those bars first.
Oh, you're not an enemy, you're a friend. Oh, greetings, traveller. My name's Orip. Now, listen closely. I've travelled far across the land, seeking and studying the things I love most in the world. Elevators. Oh, yes, yes, I can see that look in your eyes. We both share the same passion for elevators, do we not? Oh, yes, not at all. <laughs> oh, yes, yes! They are indeed really fascinating machines. Penumbra was once flooded with elevators transporting travellers out and about. Sadly, most of the ones that remain are broken. Say, are you by chance heading for Stoneheart City? Elevators. <laughs> I, I am, so yes. I thought so. Well, it just so happens that one of my elevators in the Arcanes leads to the city. Sadly, it's broken. But what do you know? Master Orip is here. I can help you fix the elevator. If you head up north and then head west, you'll eventually find the elevator. I will meet you there. Now let me open the way for you. Um, I don't know which way is north. I, I don't have a compass. Am I supposed to have a compass? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Unless I'm missing something. I'm guessing I don't want to touch the green stuff. Okay, what do we have over here? Oh, a map! An old map. It seems to be written in a strange language. Oh. I was hoping I could use that, but I guess I can't. The guards cannot resist anymore. A shadow approaches me. I can't stand it. That sound. It's deafening. I never imagined dying in such hell. Death to the goddess. Huh. What have we here? Sapphire or A rotting body. Ew. That's gross. Uh, Farah's far Dream? Difficulty 2. Hmm, that's a bit uh, scary. Traveler of the Land. When facing evil, uh, emerging... Yeah, it's like a lovely new move. Windmill? Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, I can break dance. Game of the year. <laughs> oh my gosh. Still something behind that door. I wonder how I opened that. Let's go have a look at the void. Okay, we've got a lot of those spiked platforms. Uh, so that's similar to a crumbling platform, but uh, it's just gonna hurt you instead of make you fall, I guess. I don't know if that's better. It might be a bit easier. Uh, there's fewer moving things in this area, which is helpful. you don't get all 30 of the collectibles. I mean, I probably will every time. There's no reason not to, but... Maybe you only get the part if you get all of them or something? I don't know. Okay. I like this dashing around the wall thing. I think that's pretty cool.
Gotta make sure there's nothing hiding down there. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, jeez. Right at the beginning? Well, I keep all the things, so... I won't have to look around too much. And this one's fun. I'm enjoying it. So, doing it again is fine. The other one was a little bit frustrating. This one's more interesting, I think. I really like this mechanic of jumping around the edge, edge like that to get over a wall. I just think that's really clever. Oh! Hang on, did I, did I just jump out of a dash? Is that a thing you can do? Hmm. Yeah, you can. You can dash off, off a ledge and then jump instead of doing the opposite. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's actually better, like, ever, but it's an interesting thing you can do. <laughs> okay, um... Here we just want to jump and dash. There we go. We just want to climb our way back up here. The ledge grab in this game is serviceable. Um... I wouldn't- I don't think there's anything wrong with it, it's just- it's not like the smoothest ledge grab ever, it's just a normal ledge grab. <laughs> like, I'm not saying it's not a smooth ledge grab either, it, it works fine. I- I don't know. I'm just- I'm just not like, incredibly impressed and it's not like, oh my god, I will never use another ledge grab again, this one is the best, that kind of thing. It's just, it's just a good ledge grab. <laughs> okay, we got all of them. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure whether getting all 30 of the things is a necessary part of doing the void, or if it's just like a side objective. Hmm. It's not really clear. Um, I don't know how to get into there. I can see a switch on the other side. I'm guessing I need to come in from the other way and then flip that switch to get out. Okay. Ah! I got exploded again. I forgot about that. Oh, a chest. What's in here? Another sapphire. I guess that's good. It's not like super exciting, but it's still cool. seen a um, healing statue in this area yet, so uh, I may be in trouble. Okay, I remember to run away that time, so I didn't take too much damage. <laughs> okay. Um. Huh, another one of these. Maybe these are like uh, fast travel points or something, once they get activated. Uh, I don't know what they do yet, though. We'll see. Oh, another void. Let's go. Okay, that one's got like a drawing of something on it. Is that my character? Um, sort of. Looks a bit like my character. Also looks a bit like a duck. <laughs> um... Maybe it's a duck. Who knows? Uh... Okay, here we go. And to avoid path of victory. Ooh. Okay. Um. This looks a bit spooky. Okay, so those work pretty much the way you'd expect them to work. Oops. Uh, hmm. I am scared to find out what happens when you die in this game. <laughs> okay. Let's go 
going on here? Does the crystal give you like a double jump or something? I'm confused. I think maybe? Something like that. Um, hang on, there's stuff down there. Uh, probably want that, right? Oh, okay, and then I can... Miss. <laughs> oh gosh, there's a good chance I'm gonna actually run out of healing in this area and find out what happens when you die. I'm a little scared. Um... Can't look onto that, which would make it a bit easier. Oh, okay, that's not what you're supposed to do. Uh, got the orbs though, so that's something. Okay. <sighs> okay. What's this? Void ore. Okay. Uh, I assume that's good stuff. Ah, I was hoping the dash would stop me from taking damage, but it didn't. Ah. Oh god, I'm so scared. <laughs> It does save when you enter these rooms, so it's possible you just have to do this again from the beginning, but uh, it may not be what happens. Um, okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It happened! <laughs> Arcane tunnels. Okay, so it kicked me out of the void I was in. And I don't have full health. Uh, hmm, I might just walk forward a little bit and see if I can find like a statue or something and then come back. Hmm. Oh, this is a statue. There we go, it's right in front of me. Uh, and that'll heal me back up and then we can go do that again. Okay, so... You aren't really penalized very much if you die, which is nice. Uh, at least in a void. I haven't died outside of a void yet. It might be a lot worse if you die in combat. Uh, I guess I'll see eventually, because uh, I'm having trouble with this game and it's pretty hard. Um, but for the time being, I'm having fun, so that's good. Bloodstorm blades embedded with poison. Ooh. Uh, Switching to the right inventory is quite slow, it's a little fiddly. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is the elevator, right? The one that the repair guy was supposed to repair? Yeah, I think it is. Master elevator, whatever they were, they were called. <laughs> I've forgotten their name. It definitely wasn't Master Elevator. What's through here? Is this like a pass back to the previous area or something? I don't really know like how Metroidvania this is and how linear this is. Waterways. No, this is a new place. Uh, activate. Can't activate. I guess I need to come here from the other end, and then it becomes a shortcut back or something? I don't know, I'm guessing. Uh, I probably don't have enough ore to buy that emote yet. Well, I would like it, so... 
I'm guessing it's another 200. Yeah, I haven't got 200 ore. I would like a new emote, so that's a shame. Uh, I'll dash for a longer distance. I really see any moment to freeze and freeze an egg. Yeah, I've been doing that. Save a dog run for after a wall run. Ooh, I think I need to unlock that one still. Okay, I have 200 now, so I could like head over there and get that. Get that emote that I wanted. Uh, let's have a quick look around the other area first. Let's see, that's the way I came in, right near the statue. I can also go this way. Oh, that looks interesting. I can't get through there yet, but maybe once I get a new ability? I am expecting to get new abilities, because the shield wasn't something I started with, for example. I'm gonna fight, like, a big monster in here. Yep. I know how this works. Kind of annoying that they still hurt you with their shock, the like uh, ground shaking move if you're in mid air. Doesn't super make sense. Uh, they weren't too tough to deal with though. Ooh. That's a nice looking chest. Let's see what I got. Fire charm. A charm created by the gods that holds the power to cast powerful fire attacks. X and... Okay, so it's like a ranged attack I have now. Neat. I like it. It uses up mana, um, which makes sense. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's an improvement but over having no range attack at all, for sure. Okay, we're up on an hour now, so um, I'm just gonna head back to that statue I saved out a moment ago and save again at that statue. Now that I've made slightly more progress. Actually, does that replenish your mana as well? Oh, I'll check once I've saved. I I'm thinking it probably ought to, but I don't know if it does. Save. Saving. It does. It replenishes everything. Nice. Uh, fancy is that. Okay, um, so yeah, this is Blue... Blue Fire, I think is the name of the game? Yeah, Blue Fire. Um, it's sort of a Zelda platformer kind of thing. Uh, feels a bit like Hollow Knight, looks a lot like Wind Waker. Uh, plays kind of like a hat in time. <laughs> and it's, it's real fun, and you can do... breakdancing. <laughs> Oh, hello, what's this? Oh, like a camera mode? Yeah, it's got a camera mode. Neat. Uh, I don't know how useful that is, but it's a feature the game has. So if you want to take some pictures and stuff, you can you can do it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm gonna really enjoy this. I'm having a great time already. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other upgrades I encounter and uh, what other wacky locales I visit. So far they've been a bit grim. Um, you know, we have this basically sewer level and we've had uh, the cave, the castle at the beginning that was quite grey, but um, I think it looks really nice despite the fact that it's not using a whole lot of different colours. I, I, don't, I don't know, something to do with the cell shading, it, it looks nice. Um, Is that not the chest I didn't open? No, I did get that one. Okay. And, yeah, um, I'm, I'm guessing like when we get to the forest it'll be a bit more colourful, because there is a forest we're going to, but... Uh, the areas we've been to so far look really nice, and I really like the aesthetic, and I'm having a lot of fun. 
And this game is cool. Oh, uh, I might just see what this cutscene says and then I'm gonna quit, I guess. Oh, hello. Uh, are you a, a villain or a friend? Spirit Hunter. Well, well. What do we have here? Okay, you're a friend. Um, I'll talk to you later. I'm just gonna look at this chest first. <laughs> Another sapphire. Oh, there's some bloom on those windows. It's a bit much. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this game so far and I'm excited to play more of it. And I think I'm probably gonna highly recommend it um, based on my first thoughts, which is nice because I've had a couple of games that didn't really end that way. Um, I'm guessing I can like sell spirits to this guy or something. Can I jump in that? Oh no, I can. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could, but I could. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Doesn't really matter because I can just go back to the, the um, Friar's Shrine statue and get my healing. Oh! Uh, please don't kill me for accidentally hitting you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh gosh, so yeah, um, I'm liking the look of this here game. Um, looking forward to playing more of it. It's got a lot of cool like vibes from other games, what I like, and... And I'm, I'm really impressed with it so far, and I'm you know, excited to see how it progresses. I wonder if we get like, like a double dash or something. That would be interesting. I know I get wall running, which I don't have yet. Because that was mentioned. Uh. The, um... Lock-on camera is a little bit confusing. Um, in, um, for example, Ocarina of Time, which has the same sort of lock-on camera, uh, in that game, the camera moves to behind Link quite quickly. Uh, in this game, it like snaps there instantly, so you get a little confused about where you were looking before. Um, this is probably better for the way this game is working, but it is also a little confusing. Um, and this game has better camera controls than Ocarina anyway, because I can just do this. So, it's probably fine. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, Blue Fire. Game just, just came out. Um, they're still patching it and stuff, like, post-release. They're putting more stuff in. Apparently the shield wasn't in that location before, before, like someone was playing the game and then they came back and, whoa, there's a shield there now, so... Um... Spoiled food. Worms are everywhere. Oh no. So yeah, um, game's still actively being maintained and stuff, like, after release, which is cool. Um... Given it was just released, it'd be kind of weird if they weren't trying to, like, patch anything they found that wasn't quite right. I like being able to close chests again, that's pretty cute. Uh, I mean, you can't see at a glance if you got the stuff out of them if you close them, but, you know, it's still cool. Uh... <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is a game. <laughs> and I am liking what I've seen so far of it, and it's fun, and I would recommend it. And you can break down inside the wall, too. That's an interesting... I don't know if I call it like an oversight or just like a natural consequence of the way this game's controls work. Cause like this, uh, cause the, and how the emote works specifically, because it makes you go forward a little bit. Uh, it doesn't like glitch you out of bounds or anything, it's just the animation, but it, it looks pretty funny. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's it for this video. I probably should stop talking. Um, anyway, this game looks real fun and I'm excited to play it. Bye! <laughs> oh, I am...
a bit giggly today. Oh gosh. Bye friends. Hehehe. <laughs>